March 2020, we heard from a lot of callers who felt cut off from their medical teams just because centers needed time to pivot. We didn't know what to expect, to be honest. And our what we wanted to do was our best. Before the pandemic, um, we primarily served people who could get to our location. For the pandemic, um, uh, I knew about telehealth because uh, I worked in a healthcare field, um, but um, I wasn't a day-to-day -day operator of it. Um, we still had and actually had more access to some of the oncologists who were willing to um, go online and provide the educational workshops. We had a lot of new callers to the helpline. We even said, I think people are Googling cancer and support and they were finding us. Very fortunately, um, they were finding us. We were hearing from almost as many caregivers of people with cancer as we heard from the patients themselves. When the community came together, they offered each other support. They shared resources. Um, everyone, um, you know, wanted to remain connected. A piece of advice I have about uh, telehealth is to be open-minded. Um, a lot of people don't like change and, um, you know, a lot of people are, you know, so used to uh, getting up and driving to the doctor. Um, and the pandemic, I, I think, made us even stronger. We grew through the pandemic. Um, our services grew through the pandemic. Our staff almost doubled. Um, we are providing more than 20 support groups a month now. When the pandemic first started, uh, we probably 